You ready? So Russ, it's pretty hot out here. It is. And when it's hot, you need some water. One of the most important lessons for beginning folks here at Mission on Paris is to go get water. So what's the first step in getting your water? We gotta find the water. Come well, with me. But what do you need first before that? A bottle. A bottle. You yeah, need I a bottle. A bottle. It's got a little handle thing on it. Yeah. It's kind of neat, but yeah, you need a bottle. Right. And a big bottle. A big bottle. All right. It's hot. So we got the bottle. Yeah. We got um, the bottle. And where are we walking to? We're walking out here to the kitchen. Kitchen. La cocina. La cocina. La cocina. Yeah. La cocina. La cocina. Yeah. See. See? You, you can tell it's it's got the angel yeah, the here angel. on the door. Right? Yes. So we go. We go through. To the door, to the La Cocina. I know. So we have a, whoa, here's a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. All right, so the, look, we got the water bottle underneath. Hold down a little lever. Fill up with your water bottle. Now, now Russ, what's important about this water? It's bottled water. Don't drink it out of the tap. Bad. 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 You'll be sick bad. Real bad. Really bad. Yeah. Don't even brush your teeth with the water in the tap. Yeah. Kind of brush your teeth, your teeth with your water bottle. Yeah. Kind of sick be. Real sick bad. In what way? You'll be um, <laughs> spending a lot of time we'll in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. So Russ, does that conclude our lesson on one of the b basic necessities of this? Lesson one. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of our film. This is great. Yeah. Very important. Water, get it, everything. Well, we're here at the Pila, the back of the, of the guest house. If you uh, take a look here, this is a, a semi automatic washing machine. Semi. We fill this up with water. Like that. Like this. And then your washboards here. You take your clothes, you get your clothes wet, take them over here. Usually use a bucket and put the water on it and put a little soap on it, which is kind of like a stick. Is there any soap around here? Right here. Ah. Anyway. It's not like one of those cylinder bars of soap. Though. It's a little different. It's like powder. It's like yeah, powder. It's just, it's just kind of sprinkly little little And then you run it back and forth on there and you pour more water over your clothes and you wring them out. Soap them That's how you do it. That's the fresh water supply. Me gusta café, oro es marico, es increíble That's what I say Pero si no le gusta café, es lo que llamas café para mí Todo para mí Es la hora de oro Es la hora de oro So Russ, you just rolled out of bed. I did. I think. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a great thing. So now we can get up. Get started. Get boy. What we need to get done done today. But first, important lesson number two. Stuff that's in this cup. Can you get a good shot of this? See this black liquid. This is extremely important. This is coffee. They grow lots of coffee in Honduras. Enough said. It's good. So Patrick, I understand you have a lesson for us this morning about yeah. life and, and uh, basically mornings and, and whatnot. Something we should uh, maybe learn from the Honduran lifestyle here? Well, for our lesson today we're going to talk about mornings in Honduras. Now, I rolled out of bed at 6 a.m. For most of you that's probably way too early. But I quite enjoy it actually here in Honduras 
That's not normal, though, is it? For you. I'm going out of bed at 6 a.m. Would you like a uh, cafe? You get some coffee. So you stroll over to the cocina back there. Grab you. Grab you a wonderful cup. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> and you go sit outside on the front porch and watch the sunrise over these beautiful mountains, drinking your coffee. Now after that, you just lounge, relax in a wonderful hammock like this. Enjoy doing nothing and relaxing and waking up. Taking your time and enjoying the splendor of the day that's about to come. So can I have some explanation of what's going on here. Why is everybody just sitting outside the front of the mission site? Is this a regular morning, uh, is this a regular morning tradition here? Yes, it is. It's God cinema in action. Have your cup of coffee. A nice front row seat to watch sun rise. Here we are watching the sunrise. It's a big group of people. Everybody's here watching the sunrise. Their cups of coffee in hand <laughs> and you notice some people aren't wearing green oh. that's a shame it's a shame I'm wearing green No. Not until Tuesday. 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 I thought you were on St. Patrick's Day. Nope. Tuesday. That's close. Okay. Never mind. We're going to take a little break from our uh, sunrise action here and go to our sponsor, Toyota. Without Toyota, this movie would not be possible. Now we go back to our uh, sunrise action. Sunrise doesn't takes a long time, so we're gonna take a little break here. You gotta rejoin us in a little while. Till then.